Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video. Before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm gonna be uploading every single Friday. I was trying to upload every Tuesday and Friday, but then I just ended up skipping like days because I just couldn't put enough time into my videos and I don't like rushing videos. I like to take my time with them so I can make them actually good and you know, something that you guys would wanna watch. So I'm gonna be uploading on Fridays only with the occasional Tuesday upload when I feel like filming something extra. So. With all that being said, today I am just going to be doing two different random DIY projects that I thought might be fun for you guys to follow along with me. That's all I have to report, so we might as well just go ahead and get right into the video. So this DIY is going to be a little bit on the random side, but um, let me just start by explaining what's going on right now. My mom was given these light situation. I don't know if you call it a light or a lamp or what, but anyway, it's supposed to be like mounted on the wall. She was like showing it to me in her room and I was just like, I don't know about that. I like it, but I don't like the color. And she kind of agreed with me because her room is like a burgundy color with like a lot of like beige and cream, like curtains and bedspread and everything. And the black just looked a little different. It didn't look quite right. And I was like, I feel like it needs to be more of like a goldish tone. So then she comes out with this, which is a antique gold simulates actual finish of antique gold she was like oh i have this kit will you like paint it on these for me so i was like sure why the heck not there's two of these two of these lamps by the way so we'll have to do two so let's just take a look at this this is something that she got at a thrift store like some odd years ago we'll be in for a treat if this actually works okay she comes with gloves so we've got the base coat the top coat. I guess that's it. Base coat and top coat. Idea book. I thought this was going to be instructions, but apparently it's not. Okay, step one. Spray on metallic base coat and let dry. I feel like there might be some taping involved because obviously we don't want to spray paint the inside of the socket. Yeah, so I'm going to get this stuff situated and find a good spot for this because we're definitely not doing it in my room. Okay, so this has actually been drying for the past couple of days. I'm sure it was dry after 24 hours, but I left it there for days. Now we are moving on to step two, which is spun... Oh wait, no, no, we're not there yet. Okay, after you let the base coat dry, gently rub base coat with abrasive pad. So we're basically going to be like scratching off some of the gold paint with this little guy. Then we're gonna go in with this thing, which is the antique top coat which is gonna make this look a little antique -y, I'm hoping. Then it says wipe or dab off the top coat with a damp paper towel to get the exact look that you want. Okay, so I got some, what is this? Uh, newspaper down. It says to dab off the antique top coat with a damp paper towel. Unfortunately, we don't have any paper towel today, so hopefully a rag will do the trick. Now I'm going to try and scratch off some of the paint. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit afraid that this is gonna go awry and look ugly. It's not mine, so I feel like there's even more pressure. Okay, let's try. And that did absolutely nothing, folks. I'm really confused as to how this is gonna look like that. Maybe you're not supposed to scratch it off. Maybe this is just... I'm just gonna scratch this a little bit and hope for the best, really. Number two, I have a rock and we're gonna paint it because, well, there's two different reasons for this. One being the fact that there's so many people walking right now that I thought it would be kind of cute to put it on the end of the driveway or whatever. And you just saw that idea from somebody else. I saw it from Paige. 
<laughs> Hurt me, carry on. And then when people walk past, they can see it. Paige said that we should do this a while ago. Then we were walking and we seen other people do it. And then I was like, you know what? It's a pretty good idea. <laughs> There's dust all in my thing. Yeah, I'm gonna be painting this rock and I, oh, I forgot reason number two. Okay, reason number two, it's also kind of cute if... What the heck? Yeah, Stop making weird slurpy noises. <laughs> I'll keep the slurpiness down to you. <laughs> so it's also really cute when people have really pretty painted rocks in their gardens, in their yard. So that could also be another purpose for this. I just found this rock outside under the front step. So it was nice and flat and I thought it would be perfect for painting on. So I haven't 100% decided if I'm going to paint a turtle or I'm almost thinking Volkswagen bus too. So we'll see. Oh, I didn't get any water. But first I'm going to just like kind of prime, I guess the top of the rock first. I've already washed it off, but I'm just gonna paint it white just so that we have a really nice even canvas to work on. So we're gonna go in with the big boy. Oh my gosh, this is completely dried up. Hard as a rock. Okay, we're not using that. I get it, hard as a rock. I don't really have a lot of white left though, so I thought that that had some in it, but oh god, maybe we don't have any. It's not looking good. If you guys have like painted any rocks already, or if you are going to paint some rocks, you should definitely like tweet them to me, like pictures of it, or like message me on Instagram, because I want to see what you guys are doing. Unfortunately, white is one of those colors that you cannot make. I feel like we might end up having to go for like a pop art kind of look or something because if I don't have white to like shade, at least we'll get the base coat down and have a nice white surface to paint on. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry so that it doesn't like mix in with anything that we paint on top of it. And then we're gonna paint something really cute on this, hopefully. Okay, so that took quite a while. I think it's finally dry. There's a couple little tiny spots that look a little bit wet, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think I decided that I'm gonna go with a turtle painting because I Googled turtle painting and um, it came up with this Wayfair painting and I kind of want to do something very similar to that. So I'm just gonna look at it on my phone while I do this painting and hope for the best. So I think I'm gonna go for the background first. It's kind of like a wash of blue. And then like there's these little like seaweedy things. I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna do the turtle which is gonna be the hardest part. But I feel like it's not like, it's not a super realistic looking turtle. So I feel like maybe it will be okay. today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up down there and leave it in the comments down below if you have anything particular you'd like to see on my channel. I'm pretty happy. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm really, really happy with how my turtle rock turned out. I put it out on the side of the road and <laughs> stop. I'm trying to film. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> Take a deep breath. Yeah, I put my turtle rock out by the side of the road, so hopefully people are looking at it and enjoying it. And I think it turned out pretty darn good. It didn't turn out exactly like the picture, but... I'm gonna need you to just calm down over there, sir. Oh, okay. I'm almost done. It turned out pretty darn good. What? I like I it. I like you said that. I think it turned out pretty darn good. <laughs> I like it. It's a great rock. <laughs>
Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because it's just getting a little kooky now. Um, so thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next Friday here on this channel as well as whenever on the vlog channel. The vlogs are kind of sporadic, um, but it would be really cool if you could come check out my Instagram account because I have been working extremely hard on creating content daily for my Instagram as well as my TikTok accounts. So if you wanna go follow me there, it's just at Fallon Frazier. And yeah, I will see you guys on Friday with a brand new video.